Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel, it's a horse thing. Today I'm going to be reacting to my 2023 year in review customs. So I finally fixed the audio because originally my audio did not work, but I fixed it after a little bit of troubleshooting. So now we get to watch the video. Okay. I could watch this over and over forever. So this first horse was a custom that I did back like the first week of January. It really was like the first week of January. And um, the photo here that how it was taken was not very good. You can definitely see where the camera <laughs> lens could not differentiate what was supposed to be blurred and what wasn't. So this was actually a resculpted model horse, as I said. So the feathering was done, the mane and tail were done, and it was a fun custom. The feathering on this hoof actually was not all that bad, considering I was not super comfortable. But the other three, oh, if I could go back and fix that, I would. The mane and tail though wasn't bad, honestly. Like that wasn't, that wasn't bad. This horse, is a red roan obviously this was also for an order um it was a really good roan this was my second roan ever and i think he came out really really well i'm definitely rethinking about how i do my roans so this year for 2023 you know what no that'll be my resolutions video go watch that if you want to hear about my plans for this year um Overall, it was really good. I would probably get this model and just like make the mane a little bit longer, but the tail I think is really, really pretty. And I might, I might make this a drastic custom if I do this, but this is not about my plans. Overall, this was a really good, this was a good custom for me. Second room, pretty awesome. This horse was actually done in like 2020, I think, late 2020 or early 2021. I can't remember which. And the only reason that he is in this is because I wanted to showcase the tack that I made. And I just thought it would be funny to have a fjord from Norway with American tack. I don't know why, but so his name is Patriot. <laughs> and it is. I painted this halter. Like, I painted the stripes on it. It does look pretty bad with the super glue. I can do better now. <laughs> the blue. 
blanket was actually decent. It's definitely kind of shiny areas and that was only because of the glue. I've also learned how to do that better. The leader rope is really nice though. The eyeball is so bad. It's terrible. Oh, you guys will definitely see when the change point is there. The pastel is also super grainy, but as I said, this was like 2021 repainting me. So at the time I thought he was really nice, but I might strip him and redo him now. This is a horse that I actually sold. This was on the grazing Schleich mare, retired. Um, I love this model so much. I'm not entirely sure why I sold her, but I did. Um, she actually sold for a decent amount too. She sold for 40 US dollars, I think. And her shading was just really, really nice. And I overall liked her a lot. I just thought she was really pretty. And I like the fence in the background, but she was, she was a really pretty horse. I mean, she really was. This lighting is not really giving good horse vibes. The only thing I don't like is that the pastel, like I totally missed it. It's way down here and it should have been way up here and it wasn't, but it's okay. For a bay, she was really cute. This is my horse that goes after Daisy Stalls. So Daisy Stalls recreated this, um, Japanese inspired horse. Um, I think Fudin, 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 something along the lines of that is the name of it. Um, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, that might be wrong, but I think that's how you say it. And I was super proud of this horse. This was also like late 2021 customizing me. I just thought the photo was pretty. And this was my first year of YouTube, so I want her in here. Um, I redid the mane completely, like it's all from yarn and stuff. The shading was really nice. This was a really re-sculpted model. The um, antler horn things were really fun. The cherry blossoms was stuff that I got off of AliExpress. The branch detailing was super fun. The eyes actually came out really good. I took a lot of I still love this model and she will probably never be sold. Just kind of as a reminder for me and I think she's really pretty so. Those kinds of models, I don't think it will ever sell. And that's kind of a close-up shot. I think that's really cute too. And that was the original model. It was the retired flight like, nab stripper mare. This is still one of my favorite horses to this day. It is definitely some of the best roaning I think I've done so far. As I said, I am hoping to kind of change up how I do roaning, but as of right now, that is definitely the best roaning I've done. Um, I just think she was super pretty. I mean, there's not really much I can say, and the Harry was starting to do a little bit better here and the pinking on the muzzle. I just think she was really gorgeous, I do. And nobody can tell me otherwise. <laughs> this is on the same model, and this was, oh, these are both made in 2022. I just wanted to point that out. Both of those are made in 2020. So she didn't have any herring. It was pretty blocky for the most part because at that point I hadn't started doing herring. I don't know why I did this. I don't know why there's gray pastel there, but there is. Um, I like how I incorporated white into the mane. Um, now it, I probably would have made it a little bit more off-white and I wish there was pinking to the muzzle, but I really like her too, but I'm also thinking about stripping her and redoing her as well. This is them together. This is my profile picture for everything for the longest time. Like my emails, my YouTube, my Etsy, this was like the profile picture for everything for a very long time. This is actually next picture. This is my Appaloosa. So this was the first, I think this was like the first Appaloosa that I really did. I want to say that there was one before this but I can't exactly remember, but this was the first Appaloosa that I can really remember doing. Um, it wasn't executed super well. I still think her mane is gorgeous. It's super pretty. I bought the whole set just for this horse. This was also when I started paying attention to the eyes. So the eyes got, I know I can do better and that's something I want to work on this year. But the eyes were definitely doing a lot better. And then for the fact that this was like a first or second Appaloosa was really good. I wish that the spots were more opaque. I don't know why I didn't go back and fix that. And there was no herring to her whatsoever. But I think her splashes were really cute. 
my personal opinion, I still have her. I could see myself selling her, but right now I'm not, not planning on it, but we'll see. So this was also 2022, actually. This was my Virgo horse. So I was doing zodiac signs for a while just for fun. Um, in my mind, his name... So in my head, I called him Vincent. Um, even though that was never actually his name, I just thought like Virgo Vincent worked so well. So in my head, I called him Vincent, but he never had an official name. Um, the shading was just really pretty. His body up here was pretty flat, but the shading down here and the face was also pretty good. Again, I kind of missed the mark here. I don't know what was up with that, but that was kind of weird. So I wish it was a little bit higher. The starting to look a lot better I'm just saying it was starting to look better and so he was my first bird catcher spots bay I thought he was super pretty I would love to make another one of these since I sold him I really like this model um I look at him and sometimes I wish I still had him but I don't regret selling him um but I probably would have kept him if I still had him probably this is Bob um basically He's kind of a recreation of Bob from Free Rain, which was kind of the intent. So this was actually after a pattern that my mom chose and she really liked it. So I recreated it and this was um, like probably back in March this year. Um, but he does remind me a lot of Bob from Free Rain and everybody says that too. So he is for sale listed on Etsy still actually, um, if anybody wants him. And my Etsy is always linked in the description below every single time. So if you're interested, it's in the description. And I think the shading on his muzzle is really cute. And the shading on the legs, oh my gosh. Like, I need to do this more. I don't know why I stopped doing that. I need to do that more because the way that that came out, like, I mixed pastels for so long to get that light yellow. Um, the herring got kind of messy. And the only reason I say that is because... I, the way that it was, it was kind of like a roaning looking horse. So when I did him, I used a fan brush and made, like brought it out way more than I usually would for herring. So in the midst of that, it got kind of weird, but it doesn't look bad. Like it looks accurate to what the horse actually looked like. So, and the mane and tail actually came out decent. Again, I've improved a lot over the course of seven months, but for March me, which seems like forever ago, it was okay. This was one of my first Palominos. Yeah, one of my first Palominos actually. And I think the color was spot on. The shading was beautiful. The only issue was that like literally right here and right here had like a speck of graininess and I hated it. So I covered it up with the markings and I was going for like herring or something. This part on the shoulder turned out okay, but down here did not. Um, so the markings are kind of not very realistic. She is also still up for sale from what I know of, um, if anybody wants her. I, I like her actually, so nobody buys her. I might, I might keep her in. So maybe strip her and redo her. Just because horses I feel like I did a long time ago should be redone. Um, I think her face marking is super cute. Her shading really is on point. Like, her shading is really pretty, in my opinion. Oops. Really hit the table. And then... I just think this spot up here was done so well. I don't know. I like that. Like, it just, it looked really good. Um, yeah, and I was paying attention to the hooves, so those came out well. This was a Dapple Pinto-ish horse um, as an Arabian, and somebody did buy this horse, so she is not for sale anymore, actually. I don't like how grainy she is. That is one thing I don't like and I don't blame that it took her a little bit to sell is that she is really grainy, unlike all the other models that were still up for sale, are still up for sale. I think the teal really works well with her and her herring wasn't bad, but it wasn't my best work. Um, overall, I know I could do a lot better, but she sold. So if somebody out there really wanted her, but personally, me, I don't care for her very much. I just know I could do a lot better before I go on to the source. I am not super comfortable with dapples to begin with, which is kind of ironic because I have a dapples tutorial on my YouTube channel, but I'm also kind of experimenting with different dapple techniques right now, which is part of it because I'm trying to find a dapple technique that I really, really like and right now I'm struggling on that. Um, 
I like this horse a lot. So she was actually for sale and I took her down because nobody wanted her. And I know why. And the reason why is because she looks super basic on pictures. But in person, she is actually like the most beautiful bay, Like simple bay. I love her. The shading, as you can see here and on the muzzle, is super pretty. And I know through the picture you like can't see it on the eyes or the back, but it is there and it's pretty. Um, and I did add in brown highlights to her black mane and tail. Her eyes were super cute. I just think her face marking is super cute. I love her so. I love her so much. And she was done earlier this year as well. Last year, I should say. This is a horse that I don't care for and she's not selling. So I might take her down and redo her completely. Um... I was going for some sort of Appaloosa. I was trying to upgrade my Appaloosa a little bit, but it didn't come out very well. So I don't know what the herring is. The herring is all which ways, and I'm like, what was I thinking? Because I do have like a roading chart on Pinterest. I use Pinterest a ton, you guys. Like, hold on. Like, this is all my stuff. Coat colors. And I have a whole roading chart here, so. So just the herring, the herring direction did not come out well, which is what totally makes things weird. I still think her eye was pretty good. I think her face is really cute. Um, I also think the mane came out decent, decent. I probably wouldn't have used white. I probably would have just done a highlight of some sort and maybe a chunk of off-white. The tail just kind of looks chunky. I don't know. And then the spots... Why did I outline the spots like that? Like, they did not come out, and then there's like a strip going through that spot, and this is being connected, and there's just a random patch here. I don't like it. I don't. Just saying. This is probably some of my favorite horses ever. Briar, at least. So that is a Briar classic. He is not snowman. Everybody thinks he's snowman. He is not snowman, I promise. Um... This horse is a Schleich horse, so I had a custom order and somebody messaged me and they said that they wanted a horse out of their chestnut and they wanted two of the same horse. So they wanted one Schleich and they wanted one. Sorry, my dog came in here. And at the time, I didn't like the Schleich, but looking back on it, it was actually really, really good and I like the model a lot. I just think that the herring is kind of nice and so is the tail. I just think it's a really cool model. This briar, though, there's a better picture. It's super blown out in this, but the horse is gorgeous. And it's really, really unfortunate because, and this model is no longer like an option. If you come to my Etsy and ask me for this model, I'm going to tell you no. I'm just saying that right now. And the reason for that is because I did a perfect paint job. Like, might be my favorite horse to this day. And I shipped her out, him, him, shipped him out. Um, he arrived and the paint was peeling. This was during the summer though, but I've never had any issues. I had shipped so many horses during the summer, Briar, Schleich, all of the above, and there were no issues. The paint was peeling. So she sent her back and I redid it. I tried to strip him. He did not like, the way he stripped is not how a horse should strip. He likes fell apart so I had to buy a whole new model and repaint him and when he got to the next lady's place he still had like the packing paper stuck to him from the heat that they could not get off and I was just like I'm so sorry and so she ended up just running him under like some cold water and stuff and letting him dry and she was kind of able to scrape it off but I feel so bad because he was so pretty and I've never had that issue Never, and I still don't. That was the only horse. So this model is no longer an option on Etsy. So this horse was kind of a pain, and it makes me really sad because he was actually gorgeous. So pretty. His mane and tail were just like perfect, and the shading was perfect, and the chestnut color was perfect, and the eye was so cute. Well, eyes. And the markings were so cute, and he was overall just such a cute chestnut. So there's the little pony. I think I think it's cute. This was another Briar Classic that I did. It was also an order. I'm not I don't love this horse, but I don't have anything against it. I just don't care for 
It might just be the model in general. I probably wouldn't go out and pick this model for anything. Um, it's just a basic bay. He has these two white spots on his withers, but other than that, it's just like he's a basic horse. The marking was cool. The eyes came out decent. The shading was really spot on, but as I said, I don't I don't know what it is. I just don't care for this horse, and I love bays. Like, I love bays, so I don't know. This was a horse that was supposed to be a recreation of spirit, and mm, I feel like I missed the mark, and I don't know how. Uh, the shading, I don't even know, because the Palomino shading, as you can see, it, it's really pretty. The black is kind of weird. And so is this, I think because what I did here was I used black paint over the pastels to try and become more opaque, which I don't ever, I only did that once. I've never done that again because I didn't like it up looking, it was really weird. And then the mane and tail, I feel like were just really, really dark, even though that's what spirit looks like. And the eye just wasn't right, and I think it might just be the horse in general, because I'm not a huge fan of this model, at least not as a Palomino. So I don't know, I don't really like this horse if I'm completely honest with you. I love this horse. This is, oh, okay. Everybody's gonna say that I copied Shigeru Studios. It is a horse inspired by Shigeru Studios. I was trying to find my words there. If you go and look at hers, yes, it's similar, but it's not the exact same. Uh, I did not copy the markings. So the markings were just a splash paint horse that I found that I thought was really pretty. The rainbow, I just thought was beautiful with the Palomino coat. So that's why I did the rainbow, and you guys, that took so long to do, and I think just the ombre and the mane was, I mean, the tail was beautiful, and the eye was really pretty, and just the rainbow color was so gorgeous, and the shading was beautiful, and the markings came out so well. This is a horse that I regret selling, and I regret selling deeply, and I could have sold her for so much more. Um, she ended up selling for, I think, 40 US dollars, and I should have listed her way higher. And the reason I say that is because I had so many people coming to me, and the person who bought it, you know what, I can't, I can't say anything. It was just kind of an issue with who bought it because I know them, and it was just kind of like, um, so many people wanted her, I just could have listed her so much higher and somebody would have definitely bought her. And the fact that I loved her so much and spent countless hours for me to only list her for $40 was just kind of crazy. And she was so well executed on my end that I, I regret selling her and I regret selling her for such a low price for what she is. Like, I put so many more hours into her than what I usually put on Etsy because I was really pushing myself. This was also Recreation of Spirit, um, but I like this one a lot better. So I used to have a thing against this mold, but he's actually kind of nice. I definitely think the black could have been a little bit um, deeper, if that makes sense, like a little bit more opaque. But the Palomino shading was when I really like started understanding how to shade Palominos. Um, the dorsal stripe is okay. The mane and tail were also okay. The eye was okay, and then the black was just not it. And I don't know. It was okay. I don't care for this though. I don't like this horse, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna preach that I hate this horse. I hate it. <sighs> That's a strong word, but I really don't like this horse. So, and I know someone's probably looking at me and going, "What kind of horse is that?" Um, if I had permission to show you guys a picture of the horse, I would, but I can't because it was a custom order. Um, this was a horse that was a mix of an Appaloosa and sort of a Roan, but not really, but also a really light gray, almost white horse, but it had Roan on the muzzle and near the Appaloosa spots, but it had Appaloosa spots too. It was such a weird horse. Like if someone, is this an actual thing? Because I swear, I have never seen a horse that looks like this. So I tried to recreate it best I could. It was just not well executed. And the person who bought it loved it, which I'm so glad about because I always double check with my customers and I'm like, please, if anything's wrong, tell me. And I've had, I've had customers who are just like, oh, I think this is off. Can you fix it? So I know that they will, but it just, I don't like him. I just think it, 
look so weird. And not that the horse is weird, the horse was beautiful. The model, I don't like. Like, the way that this came out. Mm -mm. And the pastel was super grainy. No. This was a recreation of... Oh, her name's not Rain. She was... Because this is the Schleich Andalusian Mare. And the Schleich Andalusian Mare was my third model horse that I owned ever. So that's why I keep going back to calling her Rain. Her name's not Rain. But she was another horse from the Spirit movie. And... Um, the eye was just super weird, and the mane and tail just seemed really clumpy. The markings were okay, though, but I just don't like this horse. I think she looks kind of weird. I don't like her. This is also a horse that I love and I still have and probably will not sell. Um, I spent a ton of time on this horse when it came to the herring. I almost called it feathering. The herring and the shading was absolutely beautiful and the way the mane and tail came out was better than i've ever done before of course now i've done better but it looked really really good and i actually remember to do chestnuts on her so i just think she is super pretty i still think that could could she have been better yes but is she still gorgeous yes <laughs> i won't sell her i love her very much this is a horse that I also sort of regret selling. Like if I had him, I would 100% still keep him and everybody. We had an argument in the comments over whether or not this horse was a dark bay or a black. He was supposed to be black. And everybody was telling me he was a dark bay. And I can see why because of the face, this photo, the face you can definitely tell. But it was, when I paint a black horse, you usually don't get much shading out of that. So I painted him to a really dark brown and then did a ton of black shading on top of it because I still wanted a little bit of shading. Like shading. I think it's what really brings a horse together. So everybody was like, he's a dark bay, that's not black. Yes, black horses can be classified with a little bit of brown in them. Is it a pure black? No, but it can be classified as a black. But I could also see why it was taken as a dark bay, but his intent was to be a black horse. He's still super pretty. As I said, if I still had him, I would keep him. This amazing chestnut that I also did. Um, the herring was really pretty, and the way that I did like the feathering on this was actually starting to get better. Um, I think the gray spots on her muzzle was also just super unique, and I really, really liked that. And as you can see, there is actually like you can see it kind of through here, but mainly through the tail, the brown highlights was super pretty. I'm now looking at her and realizing that's probably not what a chestnut's mane and hair color is. But that's what she looks like. Um, and I just, I do, and she had chestnuts too. I think she's super gorgeous. I love her to death. And her shading is really pretty, but I know in this photo you can barely see it. But her shading is really pretty. This is a horse that I also love so much. She was done in late 2022. Um, and I spent so much time on her. Um, you could definitely tell she was late 2022 because the way that I do my herring now versus the way that I did my herring um, in 2022 was different, but I think it was just super intricate. This was also inspired by Sugar Rose Studios actually because I know I'm gonna get a question about it. Yes, it is inspired by her, but it is not the same, but it's really, really, really close, which is why I put, yes, this is inspired by Sugar Rose Studios because I know that it is like really close. Um, am I organizing my workspace video? The red shiny paint that you see is actually gold paint that was not mixed up that completely spilled when I was doing this horse for the tack. I think the tack came out beautiful, but that's where it comes and came from and that's why I can't get it off is the gold paint is stuck. So when you watch my organize my workspace video, that is what that is and I can't get it off. So the markings were super pretty and I still think the way that the tail came out was gorgeous and the mane was really pretty and the eyes were pretty and the shading was actually really, really good for 2022. Like that was wow. And I've had a lot of people ask me, are you gonna sell her? Are you gonna sell her? I would buy her. How much can you sell her for? Can you please sell her? No, no. She will probably always forever be with me I love her very, very, very much. I love her a lot. Um, so even though she's not my best work, I love her and she's staying.
but she's super cute. I like her a lot. And that's a close up of her face. Okay, I'm gonna skip through this, but this is like a picture scenario type thing. So this is my horse and his, well, a horse that I did and his name is Legolas. So pun intended here, Legolas. Um, I cut his legs off. It was actually this leg back here and this leg up here and you can actually see a breaking and it's that still needs to be repaired it was just that the way that he got in transit because this was taken at the beach not where i live so that just in transit it broke yeah so i cut his legs off and his name is legolas and i re-sculpted the legs and this was a super cool custom for me um because i had an intent of him having a full tack set so he was just a really pretty bay and i have these unique white markings that my mom doesn't like but i love and i know it's not super realistic but i still think it's pretty and it was just because i made a few mistakes on him where something just turned out grainy and i needed to cover it up but i think it actually suits him really so he has that and then this was my first briar classic this is a class classic horse um, my first Briar Classic tack set is in my only Briar Classic tack set. And this was, and because it was a larger scale bench, like I was really able to put in all the details and you can see I have like the holes in the leather. I have a really nice girth. The saddle actually came together very well. The saddle pad is really, the color was nice and has the hooks and it has, um, floof, it has fluff, fluff. And the tongue buckles came out really, really nice. And this was like my best bridal I've done. And the split boots came out amazing. So I love this tag set. This horse is still sitting up on my shelf and I love, I love it very, very much. I look at this and I see all the hours of work that I put in. This was a long time ago though. This was like beginning of 2023. So yeah. So quick story about this horse as well. Um, I would not have bought this horse. And this was the textured hair on. Uh, no, I did a donkey that had textured hair, but this was the first horse that had textured hair. And so originally, I had someone message me on Etsy and they said that they really wanted a Marin full custom. And I was like, oh, okay, well, this will be this amount of upcharge for me to go get these models for you. And they were on eBay and a lot of people wanted them and they were like $40 or something or 35 or something. And it was just like, oh yeah, I should get these right now because I'm pretty sure she's set on buying them. So I went ahead and got them and the lady did not write me back for about seven months and finally wrote me back and, and she was like, can I send you more pictures? And I was like, sure. And I never heard from her again. So I had already bought these models and painted them and these are really similar to what her horses looked like. And she never bought it so now when i say i'm not buying the horse until the listing is purchased i mean it because i wasted money on this and at the time that was a lot for me to spend on a horse so it was just kind of like a kick in the stomach um for me being such an idiot to think that they were actually going to purchase it most of the time it goes well but sometimes it just doesn't and this was one of those situations where it didn't so um i they have two scratches on them on each of them on their stomach on the side that you don't see here and when that is repaired they will be listed for sale so i think they're really cute i just don't really have a um a want to keep them so i will sell them but i can't i cannot bring myself to sell a horse that is damaged so once the scratches are repaired um, I will definitely put these up for sale. This was also a really pretty horse and she came out really, really well because I made a tutorial on her. So of course, because it's a tutorial, I really wanted to push myself and do really, really amazing. So cute little spots and I don't know what she was supposed to be. I think I was going for a buckskin now that I look at it. At the time, I didn't know that's what it was called, but I made her a buckskin. So she has really faint apples here and the shading was just super spot on. And the markings as a to uh, buckskin Tobiano was super pretty. And the mane and tail had really nice um, highlights and lowlights in it. And she's super pretty. This is a much better picture of her actually. Um, this was when we were on Beach Beach. 
So here you can kind of see, and her hooves were really, really pretty, and just the shading was absolutely beautiful, so. This was a horse that I still don't know how I feel. So the original plan was to make it a black pinto. How that changed so much, I don't know, because it ended up just turning into more of a black paint with roaning, <laughs> or yeah, roaning basically, herring. And I don't know why it turned out like that, but it did. But she's cute. At the time, I did not like her when I finished. No, I liked her for like two days and then I did not want her and I thought about selling her. But I've kept her and now I've learned that I do really like her. And just like this marking was cool. Um, the herring on the marking markings itself I think could have been better, but the herring on the body was actually not bad. This was a horse that I also sold and I'm kind of sad I sold him because I can remember sitting in my room at like midnight for countless nights working on this horse and looking at the clock and being like, oh, I should go to bed. And I didn't because I wanted to finish this horse so bad. Um, so I spent so much time on him. So you can see, you can tell that the paint is super duper smooth. You can see that the herring is really, really nice. And the herring on his body is light but still really pretty and the shading was super good and the highlights and lowlights and like the lighter part on the tip of his tail and his face was super expressive and cute and i genuinely thought i was going to keep this horse and this was going to be like a forever horse so i really pushed myself to do really well on him only to turn around and sell him um so I don't really know how I feel about that because I thought I was going to love him and I think it was just like at the time I really needed some money for materials so I gathered up a whole bunch of horses and decided I was going to sell them. So that's kind of where that happened. But I can remember staying up for so many nights in my room working on markings and it was like 10 p.m., 12 p.m., 1 a.m. Oh, I gotta go to bed. I went to bed. I woke up the next day. It's like 11 a.m. and I'm working again and then 12 and all through the afternoon and then it's night again and I'm still working on him and it was just it took a long time just because I wanted everything to be super amazing so the person who bought this horse I know them um, sort of I mean I know them through YouTube and I know that they love him very much so I know that he is in a loving home and that is kind of what I have to keep reminding myself of when I look at these horses and, and wish I still had them is unless I love a horse, like love a horse, they're probably going to find a new home simply because I know that the person who buys them will give them a better home and love him more than I could just by him sitting on a shelf. So I know that the people who bought him love him, but it still makes me a little sad. Um, everybody tells me I didn't repaint this horse. This horse was repainted in like 2021. Um, basically me and my sister one way or another ended up um getting these this model and we had like three of them and we ended up doing all sorts of trades and buying one and all this stuff i got this horse and she was pretty much really scratched up so i had to repaint her whole body black and i redid her eyes and as you can see i redid her bows to be rainbow She's a dreamer and i love her and i still have her and I think this blanket was not made for her, actually, from what I can remember. I don't think it was specifically made for her, but it works really well for her. You know, maybe it was made for her, I don't remember. But it looks really nice on her, and I love this horse. Everybody tells me, as I said, it's not repainted. It is repainted! <laughs> if you think it's not, then you don't know this model well enough. And the hooves, the brush, Schleich does not do their hooves anymore. I swear, Schleich does not do their hooves or their eyes. So even though she has no markings, she was redone by me. Schleich doesn't, Schleich's eyes don't look like that. Their hooves don't look like that. They don't have any bows that look like that. Just saying. This was a fold that I did because someone asked me to um, through YouTube. I was taking like requests for horses and they were like, do a black fold, but black folds really aren't black. They're usually dark gray. So, um, Originally, this came in a set with the some other mare. I can't, I, I Pintaloosa in my mind, but there is no way it was a Pintaloosa. It was something Arabian mix. Arabian, I don't know. 
you guys might know, I ended up naming her Pixie before she was repainted, but I still like to think of her as Pixie, but I don't own her anymore. Which makes you kind of sad because she was super duper cute. Um, but I have a whole bunch of folds upstairs I need to repaint anyway. She was super cute, actually. Do I regret selling her? No. But she was super duper cute. This was a horse that is completely unrealistic, and he is still for sale, actually. Again, link is below. And I actually might put them all on sale because these are the last horses that might ever be done with purely pastel. So they might go on sale so they can be gone because when I start putting horses up that I'm doing with an airbrush, my prices are going to go up. Just so you know. So if you want a horse from me that is not with an airbrush, get them now. Um, because my prices will go up when I start using an airbrush. And I'm getting really nice high quality paint. So my prices are going to go up probably a decent amount. Just saying. Um, and the highlights and lowlights in him were super pretty. His shading is also really, really nice actually and I know it's super hard to see the shading on the chestnuts in pictures but he actually does have pretty nice shading and the spots I know they're realistic but I just thought it was really cool and there were some people who were mad at me that it wasn't realistic but I was like not your horse get over it um the spots sometimes aren't super opaque but I kind of wonder if that's just like Maybe that's a thing. I don't know. It wasn't meant to be like that. But the eye was actually pretty decent. And as I said, the mane and tail are super pretty. And I think it's a really cool design, even if he's not entirely realistic. I don't love him, but I think he's cool. Moment of appreciation for this horse. Okay, we're sitting up for this one. Um... This is my customized Indian warrior horse. I have a full video on how I did him in on my channel. Um, this was a horse that took me quite a while. And this, he was made in 2023. All the recent horses I've been showing are 2023. Um, and I had this idea when I saw him. Like you can, I talked about on my unboxing. I literally, like when I saw him, I was like on my unboxing. I was like, guys, I feel like he would be like a really cool, War, like he was in the military or something like he just has that old soul look like he looks like he could be a warrior um and I said that in the unboxing and I don't keep saying that so I did some research and some looking into it and I created this amazing warrior horse that I love so much and no he is not being sold and I don't think I will ever sell him because I also get that question a lot are you gonna sell your warrior horse no I will not and just his markings are super smooth and the herring is beautiful. I'm so proud of this horse. And the war paint is so pretty. And his eye was really, really nice. And the highlights and the lowlights on the mane and the hooves were super pretty. And here I actually used, it's, it's hard to tell in this photo, but I used like a light brown sort of paint in with the feathering and mixed it in with white. So it actually has dimension to it. It's just not super drastic and the beads are so pretty that was such a wonderful touch that i love and it actually does have like more beads and feathers coming in like two braids like this to connect in the middle down the tail i love this horse and the feathers this is like i think this is my top three horses top two horses of all time because i can't decide and you'll see which one it is after this one and it's that horse. This horse is my best Appaloosa. So this was a custom order. They really wanted me to make an Appaloosa. And I was like, sure. And I was super confused on how to do it, but I ended up finding out a trick. And if I'm completely honest, I don't really want to share it yet because I feel like it's really, really awesome. Um, but it's worked really, really well for me. And I've created two Appaloosas with that technique and I've liked it a lot um more than what I've usually done I might change it back up a little bit but for like this was like an amazing Appaloosa I was so proud of this horse still am obviously and the way that the mane was done like is there a picture of it no the way the mane was done was just really really nice honestly so I just think it was really, really beautiful. And this was when I really got hooked on Briar. 
I told myself, briars are so overrated. Why would anyone buy briars? They're so expensive. They're not even that great. They're just plastic and they're really expensive. Like, why would anybody want briars? The person who wanted this horse asked for a briar traditional. Um, so I bought Pepto here, who is a briar traditional. And I can remember unboxing him. He came in the middle of the night, which like freaked my dad out because we have a ring alarm. So it scared him that somebody was at our door. But Amazon delivered him overnight. And I remember opening him up, up the next morning and just staring at him, like staring in for so long and just being like, I want more Briar Traditionals so bad. So I made this custom and had to ship him out, obviously, but I fell in love with Briars after this horse, and this was August. So I fell in love and I've been addicted with, to Briars ever since. I had bought some super retired Briars beforehand, like about a um, early 2022. I got them off Facebook Marketplace for dirt cheap, but they're like from a long, long time ago, so they don't look that great because unlike Schleich, the longer Briar's been around, the better their horses look. So, um, they just don't look all that great, so I wasn't sold on it. I'll probably list them as a lot if anybody's interested in some older Briar. Um, so I wasn't sold on them at that point, but after seeing this horse, I was like, I need Briar. Now what do I, now what do I do? I've spent so much money on Briar. Ooh. So I love this horse. This was really like kind of a turning point for me this year. This was a really neat horse too, and I'll turn around here in a second. This was also another custom order. So the person who wanted this horse actually had branding on it, which I've never done before at the time. And I'm about to start making another custom that has it. So I kind of have more experience now, but at the time I didn't know how to do it. So it actually came out really well for the technique that. So this is the branding in case you guys didn't know. Um, it was fun and it was a really cute horse and it was just really fun to do. So do I like it? Not really. I mean, it's not, it's, it's, it's a good horse. The branding was fun, but I don't like love it. You know, it doesn't call to me if that's how you want to put it at least. See, there's a better picture of the branding. See, this is the second episode I was talking about. Now this is like, so we significantly down and it was still a really, really nice Appaloosa. Um, she is also for sale. I don't know why anybody hasn't bought her. Go buy her while she's cheap right now, y'all, please. Um, and because I might end up keeping her, to be honest, just saying. Honestly, you can see the highlights and lowlights in here, too. Those were pretty, pretty nice. I love this Appaloosa so much. She's a light gray Appaloosa. She's super cute, actually. Even cuter in person. This horse sold out super fast. Well, there's only one of them. The horse sold super fast. And one horse that I completely forgot to put in here was the Flea Bit in Gray that I did. I'll put a picture up here. And I'm just going to react to that horse really quick. Um, that horse sold out within 24 hours of being listed on Etsy. My first Flea Bit in Gray. Well, second attempt at Flea Bit in Gray. First Flea Bit in Gray. Because a long, long time ago, back in like 2019, I wanted to do a flea bit in gray after watching Daisy Stalls. And it turned out so, so bad. So I didn't even get that far because the spots just weren't working. Like I was just testing them out and they weren't doing it for me. Um, but I did make a flea bit in gray and he was super cute. And I kind of didn't want to sell him, but I also kind of wanted to sell him. So I sold him and he sold out really, really fast. And she is beautiful. And I'm kind of sad I had to let her go. She was done in like August as well. I finished the Appaloosa, this one, and another one. All at the same time. Her shading was beautiful. Super, super pretty. I like her. This was a trade that me and M Loves Camaros did. So she sent me this beautiful horse, which is why it is not really in my year of review photos because it was not made by me. Um, I love that horse dearly. And this was the horse that I made for her. So it was a buckskin with these really, really cool markings. And I like her a lot. I need to go buy another Arabian because that was my only Arabian. So probably need to go do that. It was just a sassy Arabian. She's awesome. But I like this horse a lot too. And the dapples were nice. The shading was really nice. Yeah. 
this is the horse that actually um, is sent back to me right now because the owner's dog kind of got to it, so I'm having to repair it. But I made this as a custom order. Really pretty chestnut. All the hooves were really, really nice. The markings were pretty. The shading was awesome. And here you can see the shading a little bit better than my other chestnuts. The shading were beautiful. And the mane and tail were really, really nice. So I like this horse. I do. Is it my favorite? No, but I like it. I feel like that's how I feel a lot about it. It's like I either love the horse or it's okay. Or I hate it. Like there's really no in-between. <laughs> So this is the same model that we were just looking at, but this was the one that was finished in with the other two in August. He sold out really, really fast, and I almost kept him. Like, I was this close to keeping him, but so many people wanted him. Okay, let's sell him. But I don't regret selling him. I just think he was really, really pretty. And the herring was super duper nice. And I was really starting to, like, hone in on that marking there, so... I was doing better. I still have a lot of improving on my markings to do, but that was definitely a step forward in the right direction. Reminds me a lot of Paladin. That that's my warrior horse, by the way. I completely forgot to mention that. His name is Pal his name is Paladin, actually. That's kind of where the herring came from. This was my first like personal Briar traditional horse um, that I did. This is on the Gem Twist model. There's also a full video on this horse. So the shading on this was so rich and amazing. And this was only done with pastels, which kind of makes me sad because right after I finished this horse, I got new white paint and I got the airbrush. So um, I really wish that I was able to use that for this guy, but I didn't. But the fact that this was done in pastels, this is probably the best pastel job I've ever done. Um, which is starting to like, um, come and, uh, well, I was gonna say come and check, but that doesn't seem to make any sense. It's just like, finally, after my four and a half years of using pastels, this was my best pastel job and probably my last pastel job, um, shading wise. And the markings, this little marking right here, I don't know why, but this little marking makes me so happy. <laughs> it just looks really, really nice because that's how I wanted it to look. And I was really trying to pay attention to direction and herring on all of this and making sure it was super smooth and um, shading was just amazing. I like have no words. Now that I've started switching to an airbrush, he's not my favorite, but I am still pretty proud of him. This picture is where you can see why the white paint makes me so mad is because I was so paranoid of the paint getting clumpy and leaving brush strokes and that is exactly what it did. Um, which is why I recently went out and bought, I bought a nice kind of white paint, okay, but I also bought another kind of white paint to work together because both are really, really nice and I got new brushes that will help with that. But also the paint that I was using for him um, builds up a lot. It was really cheap white paint and I have successfully done markings with white paint I mean you guys saw all the other markings that I loved and that was all done with the really cheap white paint you can successfully do really nice markings with cheap white paint but this works it just didn't do it and you can see it in the sunlight here which is really sad but he was pretty in the mountains behind him is just so this is the Sadie Bay horse I was talking about. Her name is Sa Sadie, as you can see. I don't know what that was. Sadie, um, love her dearly. She has a cute little halter. And then this is the horse that M made me. There's the horse that M made me. This was a pretty decent custom, actually. So this was on the same model that I made the spirit guy that I didn't really care for. And not the bigger one that I liked better, the one that I didn't like. Um, same model and she wanted specifically a chestnut Rabicano Fjord so I completely dremeled off the mane and made it a Fjord and this is my first Rabicano so there was um, it was a very interesting learning process but I think it came out really well because she sent me a specific reference photo and that's pretty close to what it looked like so I'm pretty proud of the Rabicano here. The eye. Ooh. <laughs> Somebody pointed it out in a comment and kind and it 
I have to look at it every single time. It's one of those things, it's kind of like when somebody points something out and you're like super self-conscious of it. So now I look at this horse and even though I don't own him, I always have to look at the eye and I'm like, um, he was super pretty though. I, I'm still pretty proud of him actually. Just sculpting a fjord because I have a whole fjord story. Y'all, I should make a video about my fjord story because that was kind of a wreck. But basically, all of that happened. This was my second time sculpting a fjord. Obviously turned out way better. And a Ravicano, and I've never done a Ravicano. This year was a lot of firsts. This year was a lot of me trying things, but this year I want to do even better. So we're gonna we're gonna kick it out ballpark. This horse I like a lot. And at the time I didn't like it, but now that I've sent it out, I like it a lot. So this was another custom order. Um and it was kind of a pain to paint and I realized I probably should have just done the white base coat and then painted the black and I didn't. Probably wrong on my end, but I did that. The herring was pretty nice. It was a very beautiful horse and the mane was super pretty. And the reason it came out like that actually is because the paint pot that it was kind of dried out, so it had a lot of dark and light and medium palomino-y colors. So when I dipped it in and put it on there, it kind of went ahead and gave me my highlights and low lights, which was actually kind of nice. So here I actually used brown pastel and really defined certain areas, and it actually worked out super well, which was really nice. Although down here it could have definitely been a lot less grainy, but on the body itself, super proud of that. And then this was another roan that I did. And you guys ever have those days where you just can't paint? That was me this day. I was trying to roan and I couldn't roan. <laughs> I could not paint. And it was really on my nerves. So I ended up getting through it. But it's not my best roan and I know it. And I feel kind of bad. But I could not paint. It was a struggle. So I had to come back and kind of work on it later. But he's an okay roan. Um, the highlights and the lowlights, I feel like got a little messy. This was a custom order, by the way, but it's not the it looks really bad in this picture. Actually, I'm looking at it. It did not look that bad in person, I swear. And it was okay. The eye kind of took a step back on the eye, but. And then these, and then my favorite horses this year, um, love them so much. They're beautiful. And as I said, my Etsy is linked down below. And that's my YouTube channel, which is what you're watching right now. Make sure you subscribe if you have not. And this is the end of my reacting video. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, make sure you click that subscribe button down below, as I just said. And please make sure you check out my Etsy shop. I do have models here. And as I said, prices probably are going to go up. And the only reason I say this is because those are probably the last horses I'm going to be selling that are done with pastels, and pastels are cheaper than airbrush paint. So, once I start putting horses out that are being used with an airbrush, prices are going to go up. And also because my markings are going to be with higher quality paint, so prices are going to go up. So if you want a cheap horse, get them now. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Remember to be kind, be smart, and stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy model horse collecting, model horse repainting. And yeah, have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everybody.